This video is how to find angle measures when parallel lines are cut by transversal. First, a quick review about the angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. If you look at the diagram, the measures of the two angles that are marked with green arcs are equal. The measures of the angles marked with red arcs are also equal. The measures of one of each, that is, one of the angles marked in green and one of the angles marked in red, will add together to equal 180. In this diagram, we have two parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. And just like you learned when two lines intersect, and you get one, two pairs of vertical angles, and the vertical angles are congruent. The same thing happens in this diagram, but not just once, but it happens twice. Now the neat thing is, if we could take one of these two parallel lines and slide it along this transversal so that the parallel lines were on top of each other, like this, notice that the angles have the same measures. So all four of these angles that are marked with the green arcs have the same measure. All four of these angles marked with the red arcs have the same measure. Now how does this let us solve problems when we have parallel lines cut by transversal? Well, if I give you any two angles in this diagram, either they're going to be the same measure, like these two green angles, or these two red angles, or I'm going to have one of each and they have to add together to equal 180. Pay attention to these two that I just clicked on. When I slide back up here, I had that one and I had that one. They make a straight angle, so these two angles have to add together to equal 180. Find the value of x and the measure of the angle that's marked in bold type. So I look at my diagram, I find the angle that's marked in bold type. That's the 8x minus 4. What are the other angles that have the same measure as it? Well, there's this one that's vertical to it. And then we come down here. Just like if I was sliding that top parallel line down on top. So the two angles that I'm working with have to have the same measure. So I set their expressions equal to each other. So 8x minus 4 equals 6x plus 12. And I need to solve this equation. So I want to get my variables on one side of the equal sign first. So I subtract 6x. That leaves me with 2x minus 4 equals 12. Now that the variables are all on one side of the equal sign, I want my constants on the other side of the equal sign. So I add 4 to both sides. That leaves me with 2x equals 16. Now to get what x is, Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 8. Now to find the measure of the angle in bold type. Well, that was 8x minus 4, and from here, I know that the value of x is 8. So that leaves 8 times 8 minus 4. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 minus 4 is 60. So 
So this is the value of x. Let's make that look like an e. And this is the measure of the angle. So here's one for you to do. If you want to just find the value of x and move on, that's great by me. Pause the video here, try to work it, and then turn the video back on and I'll show you how I worked it. So the angle that I'm trying to find the measure of is this one that's marked 4x plus 14. It's in bold print. So if I look at this line and this transversal, this angle is vertical to it, so they have the same measure. If I take this line, slide along the transversal, this angle has the same measure as the 4x plus 14. And the 5x plus 5 is vertical to it. So in this setup, the two angles that are given have the same measure. So 5x plus 5 has to equal 4x plus 14. I want to get my x variables on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. That leaves me with 1x plus 5 equals 14. Now that my variables are on one side of the equal sign, I want the constants on the other side. So I subtract this 5 from both sides. That leaves me with 1x equals 9. Now to find the measure of the angle that's indicated in bold type, that's 4x plus 14. And from this work, I know that x is 9. So 4 times 9 plus 14. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 and 14 is 50. So this is the value of x, and this is the measure of the angle. Again, find the value of x, find the measure of the angle in bold type. So I look at the diagram. This is the angle that I'm asked to find its measure. And in this diagram, the transversal is this line here. So this angle is the vertical angle of the 12x minus 4. If I think of this, trans, this line sliding down the transversal, this angle is in the same place as the 12x minus 4. And this angle is vertical to it. So in this diagram, I have one angle that's not in all these congruent angles. So these two angles have to add together to equal 180. So 12x minus 4 plus 15x minus 5 
equals 180. Combine the like terms on the left hand side of the equal sign. So 12x plus 15x is 27x. The minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9 equals 180. Now that I've combined the like terms, I want to get my x variable by itself because there's only that one. So I add 9 to both sides. That leaves me with 27x equals 189. To get x by itself, divide both sides by 27, and that leaves me with x equals 7. Now the angle that I was asked to find the measure of is this 12x minus 4. So 12x minus 4, and from this work, I know that x is 7, so I have 12 times 7 minus 4. 12 times 7 is 84, minus this 4 is 80. So this is the value of x, and this is the measure of the angle. So here's one for you to do. Again, I'm asking to find the value of x and the measure of the bold faced angle. If you only need help setting up the equation or solving the equation, that's all you need to do. Pause the video, see what you can do, then I'll show you how to work the entire problem. So the bold typed angle is the 12x plus 2. This angle here is vertical to it. If I take this line, slide down along the transversal, this angle ends up here. This angle ends up down here. So again I have the setup where I have the two angles have to add together to equal 180. So 12x plus 2 plus the 8x minus 2 equals 180. Combine the like terms, 12x plus 8x is 20x, plus 2, minus 2 cancels out, so 20x equals 180. To get x by itself, divide both sides by 20, and x equals 9. To find the measure of this angle in bold type, 12x plus 2. Take this 9, replace it with the x, so 12 times 9 plus 2. 12 times 9 is 108, plus 2 more is 110. So x equals 9 is the value of x, and this 110 is the measure of the angle.
I hope this helps you out. Again, when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal and you're finding angle measures, either you've got two angles that end up being marked together and they're equal to each other, or you have two angles where one got marked and the other one didn't, and they'll add together to equal 180. That's the only two ways this can ever happen. I hope this helped you out.